Hello, my beautiful Virgo friends. How are you today? Welcome to your New Year's reading. Happy 2020. Let's jump in here and see the energies. It looks like it's going to be a stellar year as I look at this beautiful spread of cards. We look and see that as the year opens, conclusions are within reach. Something is going to come full circle for you during the eclipse seasons, full moon eclipse. So you are soon to learn something about uh, a very important matter in your life. When we look at the overall energy, we see that you are very protected this year. We have this beautiful lady. She has a bird's nest for a, her hairdo. And she's totally protecting these birds. You are totally protected this year. That is a wonderful energy. How often do we feel as though we have that kind of um, protection from spirit and from the universe? We're always protected, but this really says that this year will be a comfortable year for you in many, many areas of your life. We do get the card of leaving. This is very much like the Fool card. It is all about packing up, having this sort of beginner's interest in leaving some old energies, old attitudes, old situations behind. You are ready to embark on something new and it will tr prove to be a very favorable effort that you make because once again, you are protected this year. We have Wombat Spirit that is really just the energy of be at home in your own skin. Wombat Spirit says, you know, I know I'm a wombat and I love being a wombat and I am who I am. And it really speaks very much Virgo. I think Virgos truly carry the wombat spirit. The Virgo people I know are just so clued in, tapped in, really in tune with who they really are. I don't know too many confused Virgos. So when I look at this energy of your destiny, of your journey for the year, wise leader is your role. You are going to be a beacon for others. This also looks very much like the Hermit card to me, which of course is Virgo, the problem solver of the Zodiac, the Lord of the sixth house of solving the world's problems on a day-to-day -day basis, searching for answers, leading the way, holding a lantern. That is you, Virgo. Great energy. As we break down the year into every area of your life, from A to Z, we see that as you enter the year for this year, you are coming across in a very, it's a Sagittarius energy, temperance card. You're level-headed. You want to make things work. You know exactly what needs to be done to balance things out. Temperance is a beautiful energy. It's a very gentle energy. We see these doves. You're coming in with this energy. Your appearance is that when you enter a room, people are looking to you for answers and you have those answers. You are divinely protected. It's an energy that is a very soft leadership energy uh, that's very kind, very loving. And in relationships, it serves you so well. Now, Virgo, this year, I see the Four of Cups for you. In your area of relationships, the seventh house, these are your legal relationships. These are the relationships with doctors, lawyers, financial advisors, anybody who has a legal obligation to you. It can be a wife, a marriage, a husband, but this energy is that you have a lot of sadness. There's something that really has never come full circle for you in terms of your heart space. This is Cancerian energy and you are very much desirous of having a loving, happy, fulfilled relationship and right now we see that this is an area that you want to improve 
for yourself in 2022. Four of Cups is when you have so much love to give and yet it doesn't seem to be quite working out. It does speak to the fact that you may be disappointed with business uh, advisors. You may choose not to go into business. You may choose not to marry. Um, but it does look like you're leaving something behind. I feel very much that you're in search of someone who shares your value systems at a greater level. For those of you who are very happy in relationship, you're going to leave troubles and toil and difficulties behind. You're going to really come through this year in a very magnetic, beautiful way because that's the energy you bring to the table. When we look at your house of money, you are a fireball right now. You are in the energy. You are leaping through rings of fire with your horse. You look very dashing, my friends. The Knight of Wands says that you are very experimental this year. You are trying out new things. Again, with that beginner's energy, leaving some of the old behind, a, a very smart energy. When we look at the Knight of Wands, we have in and out energy, somebody who's on a mission, who's searching for answers, Sagittarius energy. You may travel this year a lot for uh, your income. You may travel a lot and take risks that I don't think you've taken in the past because you are divinely protected. This is an energy that speaks very largely to the fact that you are looking to expand your area of influence and you will do it very successfully. Who else could jump through a ring of fire on a horse other than Virgo? You always have everything figured out before you take action with that great balance. When we look at your eighth house of either a partner's money, we also see um, this could be a new investment, the Ace of Wands. So when we look at the eighth house, it's your partner's money. It is inheritances. It is investments, 401ks, retirement funds, the ability to get funds from a bank loan. It's other people's money that you get to utilize or you leverage as passive income or investment for income, but it also, it covers all those areas. What we see is Ace of Wands, a new beginning, a new passionate beginning. Something that you do in the area of the way you earn money is going to open doors for investors, for uh, income, for new opportunities to gain money that you don't have to directly earn through your hard work. When we look at your third house, the neighborhood, contracts, siblings, cousins. We see the three of wands. Your ship has come in. You are in the right place at the right time. You are manifesting a very, very, you might be manifesting a new home. You might be manifesting real estate. We see all of these buildings here. This is very much the three of wands is Aries energy through your own hard work, through your ability to attract quality contracts, you've already been chosen by many people who would like to work with you. I think your calendar is full. I think you have contracts, and I think these are people who know you really well, know your talents, and know that when you show up on the scene, magic happens. When we look at your ninth house, of your philosophy, your religious beliefs, the way you like to operate in the world, the thing that you really believe in. We see Hierophant energy, Taurus energy. We see you as a person who is very down to earth, very grounded. You have very traditional beliefs, you know, that, you know, a, a, a penny saved is a penny earned. You believe in work. You believe you have a very strong ethical foundation that helps you with all of this Sagittarius growth. Sagittarius is the ruler of the ninth house where this card is located in the ninth house of your astrology wheel. It speaks to the fact that you have so much integrity. You have more integrity in your little finger, more talent in your spirited being than most people could ever think of possessing in five lifetimes. 
when we look at the Ace of Cups, we see your history, your home life, the people that you love most, your family. The Ace of Cups also tells us that you may be starting a new family. You may be embracing a new love, a new committed relationship. Aces are all about new beginnings. So your neighborhood is here, the Three of Wands, but your actual home, I don't believe that you yet have this home. I feel as though you're going to move into a place that you truly, truly love. It does look like your career right now, you, from home life being a happy space, a safe space, a space where you're really yourself, you don't always have to be at work. We also see that you especially enjoy and love the people who are closest to you, the people of your chosen family, the people that you've chosen to love, uh, help you very much with the physical tasks that you have to do. When we get the Ten of Wands, we see that your career as a whole is more burdensome. If we look at this card closely, we see her picking flowers even though this burden is here. She still is working hard. She has a good attitude when we look at the Ten of Wands. What we see is that you really, for some of you, you might just be working incredibly long hours and yet you have the fire in your belly to do it. You are living up to your obligations. You will ha you are looking forward to a time though when you get to release all of that hard work because you are manifesting this three of wands. You're manifesting a new home. I feel as though many of you are working hard for the new home that you will um, live in in the very near future, whether that home or be both a relationship, a new relationship, a new love relationship, or whether it is a physical home or probably both. So I think for many of you right now, dating is a priority and finding your person with whom you can enjoy a good life is of paramount importance. You want that partner that you can enjoy and love fully and have fun with and really be yourself while doing the magnificent job you do of taking care of the rest of us in the real world. When we look at the Knight of Pentacles, this is your energy Virgo. You are steadily moving forward. The Knight of Pentacles means in the fifth house, your creative endeavors. For many of you, you might actually be involved in building things, in the trades, in building homes, in um, fixing things. Very, very practical energy. That's what you're known for, and you are moving steadily forward. Look at this, the outcome of your work. The outcome is great happiness. Again, I think that you may meet a new partner through work. You may have a partner that you already know or someone that you would like to invest in. We see the sun card in your house of associations, friendships. You are so beloved. Your friends are your wealth, Virgo, and they are actually going to be part of the true wealth building that I see in front of me, this tremendous abundance of money that's coming in, the ability to really be in love with your life. When we look at the sixth house, some of you have some health issues that you will be dealing with. You may get acupuncture. It almost looks like she's getting acupuncture. But Virgo, we see you working hard. It's almost backbreaking work is what we see here. And when we get the Ten of Swords, we see that you are going to resolve some sort of daily work issue, something in your life that's been very thorny, something that's been challenging. For many of us, it's just the outside world at large with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords, you are going to be able to drop the burdens and look at this Two of Wands. We see that behind the scenes, unbeknownst to many others, you are given two bountiful paths on which you can create your abundance. Again, we have that energy, that duality. You are the Magician card. You are the Hermit card in the Tarot deck. And we see you 
handling and going through possibly some sort of physical therapy that's going to be able to really help you let go of any difficulties. Day-to-day -day life is going to be thorny. You're going to feel pulled in a lot of directions. You're going to have to do the work maybe for a time, not for long though. Ten weeks into the year, it looks like you are going to be able to drop the burdens. You're going to be able to handle and do whatever it is that you need to do to take good care of yourself. It looks as though you are really at a turning point in your life when we look at the leaving and we look at the two of wands we see a new journey you can see how she's staring at the moon she holds the world in her hands so it's like what far off places what adventures what happiness do you want to manifest but you have new love either a beginning and a love that you've been waiting to have uh, a new start in an old love, but I think for many of you, whatever this is, you are leaving something behind, you're leaving sadness behind, you're leaving people who have disappointed you to, behind with that very thorny energy day to day, and the Ten of Wands, you are happily doing the work needed that you to manifest this great sun card. I love it, happiest card in the deck. This is exquisite. Let's look at the El Goliath deck. It can be a shadow deck, but I loved it as I pulled the cards. There is no shadow in this reading at all. It looks exquisite. If anything, what I see is that you're getting in touch with who you really are. This is like a, a roar shark, a ink blot test, which is whatever image, you know, whatever that looks like to you is what it is. And when I look at the wombat spirit, you're just willing to embrace yourself as a unique creature that you are. No more carrying the burdens of what people expect from you. No more dealing with you know, any sort of thorny issues day to day in your love life. You are setting upon a brand new journey. Page of Pentacles, there you go. Virgo energy again. This beautiful butterfly is transforming your life as you set forth on a new path. Again, pages are all about new beginnings and messages coming through. The Sacred Heart, look at this. The Heart the magical sacred heart you are having this is the ace of cups energy this is it this is what you're searching for right now i feel as though you've identified who this is but you haven't had a time or a chance to really spend time with this person eight of swords says that you will not take any action until the action you take uh, is very helpful. Four of Wands. Look at that. That's a marriage card. The Four of Wands is a traditional 1111 twin flame card. What I see is that you are holding out for this Four of Wands when that person shows up in your life at the time that you can act on it. We have the beautiful Knight of Cups. Very romantic, very loving coming forward. You've been howling at the moon for this love, for this relationship. It's something that you've really needed. And let's see what the journey looks like for the rest of the year. Eight of Wands, highly passionate. So we, I love this energy for you. As you finish up the cycle of the things that you sort through this year, as you use this beautiful, patient energy to manifest, you really rise to the occasion. You travel internationally again, the Sagittarius energy. You may meet somebody from a different culture, a different ethnicity, a different country, and the passion is unbelievable. The communication is fun. It's fantastic. The Wheel of Fortune is blessing you and protecting you. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Jupiter is in your seventh house right now and Pisces in your seventh house of partnership. So out with the old, in with the new. This one's going to fall by the wayside and something new is coming in for you. You are getting to know this person possibly right now, but certainly through the year, 
getting to know them, getting to know all about them, having fun, enjoying this person, letting the burdens of the past, uh, you carry out all of your responsibilities, even though you know that there's something unfair about making this transition, about leaving something behind, um, and we see the High Priestess. You are divinely protected. That is divine feminine. In the spiritual world, we have the High Priestess energy. Cancerian energy, follow your intuition. You know exactly what to do, Virgo, to manifest the life that you've been dreaming about. I love this reading for you. I'm so happy you joined me today. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. And Happy New Year. May you have the best year ever, Virgo. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.